Hello guys and welcome to TGM the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario Odyssey. Now in the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and beat the Seaside Kingdom. Or at least we got world peace and a couple of extra moons. I can see a moon up there on that cliff that I could have gotten. But anyways, we got 10 moons and we can now move on to the next kingdom. So let's hop into the Odyssey and just see where we can go next. On to the Luncheon Kingdom. Bowser can't run forever. To quote Mario, let's -a go. I really like the way that this looks. I know I've said that about every single time that it's shown this on screen, but I really like the way that they've made this look with the sort of sunset and stuff like that. So Bowser wants to make a toast using the sparkle water? Sounds like his wedding preparations are moving along. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Drow chip tip long jump. I'll just skip past this. Well, there it is. We should read up on the Luncheon Kingdom next. It says here that the country is famous for using a volcano to prepare a dish called Stupendous Stew. Mount Volbono, and you can already see the brutal ships off in the distance there. And you can pretty much see what the next boss fight is gonna be. The Brutals are after some cooking. Cappy doesn't have anything to say. Mike, oh, he does. My goodness, they're here. The Brutals. So, speaking of cool and exciting things, I don't think I was talking about anything cool and exciting, but something that is cool and exciting is I'm cl very close to, work to getting to 3,000 subscribers, so I just wanted to say thank you all so much. I don't know how to express properly that I, I, I'm just very thankful, you know. Anyways, moving on from that, we have the Brutals fight. You can see that the lanky one, I think his name is like Rango or something like that, he's missing because we defeated him a couple kingdoms ago. I forget which one it was in. I think it was Snow Kingdom. Anyways, haha, we stole a whole boatload of this place's stupendous stew for the boss's wedding chow. I'm gonna head back up the volcano to finish off that stew after I'm done with you. Once again, this boss fight is really easy. Just knock off his hat. Then you just hop on his hat right after that. Knock off his hat. Jump on the hat. And you just do this one extra time. Freaking Joy-Con Drift. I was holding up, but Mario kept walking down. And... I'm gonna get my Joy-Con sent into Nintendo, because this is just... It sucks, you know. <laughs> Brutals are after some cooking, is our next story moon that we just got. You guys already knew that, though, so I don't know why I'm restating it. I'm weird when it comes to commentary. Anyways, our next moon is Under the Cheese Rocks. We get fully healed up. And we get to the main part of this kingdom, which is this small town over here. Oh my, what's that smell? Delicious! Welcome to Peronza Plaza. Just a small little town here with a bunch of these fort guys. What's that darn bird doing up there? We don't have time for festivities though, so we must move past the town and up this area right here. I think I have to actually platform and play the video game correctly. One, two, three, four, 
And yeah, now we're up. We got some hammer bros, but they're using pans, so I guess you could call them pan bros. To throw an attack, shake, shake, shake. Ah. Yeah, if you shake really hard. You can just throw it extremely fast. With the pull of that lever, this cage goes ahead and opens up. And we can get our next moon. That is moon number two of Luncheon Kingdom, under the cheese rocks. Suddenly, beneath the purple lava thingy- I didn't even mention that, I don't know how I didn't mention that, but this purple stuff is supposedly lava. We have big pot on the volcano. Dive in. So yeah, you could clearly see the multi moon up there that we're clearly aiming towards. I don't know why I keep saying clearly so much, but... Path to the meat plateau. How did I get hit by it but simultaneously capture it? I just got double teamed. Let's pretend like that didn't happen. We'll just forget the potabo. Is it pronounced potabo or potabo? I forget how it's spelled. I forget which it is. So, I guess I'll put on screen whether it's potabo or potabo. Meet Plateau. So we've arrived. And the only thing we can really do here is capture this small question mark thing. This is the weirdest part of the game. You press B to twitch. You're this, like, meat, I guess, or this bread? It, it looks like the sides of it look like meat, but, like, the outer shell of it looks like bread. I don't know. And then this bird right here, he, he grabs you and he brings you up. And then now you're in this big pot for this stew that's occurring. And it brings us right next to the multi-moon. I like how you can turn the camera around here and just see how weird the bird looks. But yeah, it gives you a path to go across, but you could just skip all of that and go right to the multi-moon. Big pot on the volcano. Dive in. Climb up the cascading magma. Yowie! Blasted all the way back here, that is one angry volcano. And the volcano is still erupting! So yeah, we got a lot done here today. We went ahead and we tried to confront the bird, but we had to capture some weird meat thing. So... There's a, still a bit of stuff we have to do to finish off this kingdom, but if we continue to do that and finish the whole thing, this video would be like 20 minutes long, so I'm going to go ahead and end this off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll try to see if we can finish off the Luncheon Kingdom, fight that weird bird thing, and move on to the next kingdom. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye